Is it the ghosts with the most, or is it just gross? Here's your spooky spot in the Beetlejuice Beetlejuice Fanta Haunted Apple Naturally Flavored Sparkling Beverage. You may already be noticing by the label. Nowhere listed on here does it say soda. Naturally flavored sparkling beverage is, I suppose, Fanta's way of selling you the idea that this could possibly be a healthy drink. If you're drinking Fanta, you probably already know that it's not. Sure, they can list the fact it says naturally flavored. We all know now by news reports that naturally flavored usually means it's ground up beetle bugs. Though, for this being Beetlejuice, perhaps ground-up beetle bugs would be the best flavor. Fanta, though, thought otherwise and decided to call this Haunted Apple. It's been a mixed bag from what I've read online. Some say that this is disgusting. Some say it's tolerable. That doesn't leave many odds available for me. I'm hoping to meet somewhere in the middle. I'll, of course, list it on the side here. Very terrifying. 220 calories for 500 milliliters. Oh, by the way, you may notice right now I'm not being joined by the paranormal candle. He's off to the doctors right now. Horrible wax buildup. Looking on to the side here, again, sugar. 59 grams of sugar. Not that I have the stats in front of me right now, but I think Coke sits somewhere in the mid-40s. This is 59 grams of sugar. Giving you what you would already be wondering, your 59% daily intake of sugar. You're also getting as well 65 milligrams of sodium. Sure, yes, you could easily look at the ingredients and expect to find something healthy. The closest thing I would say is probably either salt or carbonated water. Anyways, let's get this opened up. I found this at a local convenience store. I went in there actually getting other soda beverages. Just happened to look across with my eyesight. Oh, and I spotted Fanta Beetlejuice. Haven't yet actually seen Beetlejuice Beetlejuice. If it's a good sequel, let me know down below in the comments section. It is a still, the seal has not yet been broken. We're going to be breaking it right now. I'm going to smell it. I'm going to give it a try. And I'm going to give you guys my honest opinion of what this is like. The Beetlejuice Beetlejuice Haunted Apple. Without further ado, let's just open up the top of the lid here. The fizziness sound will already give you the indication that I've yet, I haven't yet opened this. I can still smell it's quite strong. In fact, preliminary opinions on this kind of smells to me like a scented, a scented apple candle you would get at a craft store. Now that already tells me perhaps I shouldn't be drinking it if it smells like a candle. Still though, I'm going to push forward and we're going to give this a try. You guys can smell it for yourself. It smells pretty artificial, doesn't it? Oh, right, yeah, we're not in the year 2317 when we have smell vision Let's give this, without further ado, a try, and I'll, I'll let you guys know what I think of the Beetlejuice Beetlejuice Haunted Apple. I keep wanting to think that this is Sour Apple, but it's Haunted Apple. Let's give it a try. See what we think. Swishing it around right now, my palate. You know, I would say it tastes just the same as it smelt. Now, considering the fact that I've already said that it smelt like a artificial apple candle you'd buy at a craft store, I think it's pretty inac I think that's an accurate read of what I'm actually tasting here. It's not as strong of an apple as I was thinking it was going to be. I was expecting to down this, and I wasn't going to drink the whole entire bottle anyways. But I was thinking, for what I would have in my mouth of it, it would probably have a very sourish, strong apple flavor. It's not strong. It's not like a Jolly Rancher apple flavor, for example. It does have an apple, but it's not very strong. I will say, though, it's got a very strong artificial taste to it. Um, it doesn't have, a, like, it's not sour, necessarily. I taste apple. I almost feel like there's something also in there as well, like some spice, maybe like a spicy apple. Picture, if you will, making yourself like a hot brewed cider, an apple cider, and then you just chill it down. Now, that's not even a good, that's not a good representation of what I'm actually tasting here. It literally just tastes like a scented apple candle. Let's give it a, let's give it another try. Yeah. I would say it's one of those things where now that I've tried it, I never need to try it again. I would certainly say if you guys haven't had the chance to try it and you're a big fan of Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, go out there. If you happen to see this at your local convenience stores, pick it up, give it a try. If you have the option available where you only need to buy yourself one bottle, I think that's more than enough. I think once you finish at least half the bottle, you probably are going to say to yourself, you know what? I'm good. 
and good and just slide it down the table and maybe somebody else nearby you will want to give it a try uh, don't get a case of this whatever you do i don't think that fanta is necessarily sold by cases but if a case is available and a bottle is available choose wisely to grab the bottle don't go for the case because you're probably going to be drinking about half of this and then realize you know what i should have never i should have listened to this guy i should have never bought myself the case all in all is it terrible it's not great but I expected it to be a little bit stronger, so I suppose it's more subtler than what I thought, but it still tastes to me like an apple-scented candle. Have you guys had the chance to try this? Let me know down below in the comments section what you guys think of the Beetlejuice Beetlejuice Fanta Haunted Apple. I want to say soda. It's not a soda. It's a sparkling beverage. That's Fanta's safe way of saying it's a soda, but it's good for you. It's totally made probably of ground-up beetle bugs. If you guys have also seen Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, let me know down below in the comment section what you guys thought of the, the movie. Uh, I still do want to see it. Maybe I'll get around to seeing it during this Hallows season. If you guys did enjoy this video, do it a solid. Throw it a like. You guys want to stick around for more so? I hope so. Hit the subscribe, turn on that bell, and of course, come back. As always, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.